Welcome, my name is Elena Semenek and this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today we're going to talk about uh, science of psychological immaturity or science of uh, emotional immaturity. And I prepared a wonderful demonstration for you and I, uh, I'd like us to dive into the topic right away. Uh, so what are we going to talk today about? We're going to discuss psychological maturity and personal boundaries. We're going to talk about mistakes and the ability to accept healthy criticism. We will talk about proactive reactions in stressful situations. And uh, I will also tell you how you can attend my next webinar, which is called Manipulator Secrets and how not to fall into them, which is going to be next Saturday and you can attend it for free. I will tell you at the end about this webinar and I will also share with you my new online workshop, My Life, My Rules. Okay, so please say hi in chat. Let me know where you are from. Uh, let me know why are you here, what specific maybe question do you have or what situation brought you to this webinar. And uh, I do not believe in coincidence. If you are here, then you're supposed to be here. Everything happened for a reason. And uh, if you came here from social media or from any other source, but you did not receive my invitation by email, then please right now click um, the link under this video, which is called sign up for free online web webinars and enter your name, city and email and click sign up. So next time you will not miss any of my free webinars. So please do it right now. And uh, um, I will shortly introduce myself. Uh, my name is Elena Semenek, E-L-E-N-A. I am uh, from Russia. Right now I live in Los Angeles, California. I've been living in the United States for the last 12 years. I'm a psychologist and a life coach. And I am the founder of a Psychology of Happiness. And my slogan is <clears throat> where happiness is the purpose of life. I believe that we all deserve happiness and this is my mission to teach you uh, how you can become happier, more successful, and create loving, profound, meaningful relationships in your life. I graduated as a social and political psychologist uh, in Russia uh, in 2004, and I received my bachelor degree in Russia. I specialize in childhood trauma, in marriage counseling, and all types of addictions, uh, including um, eating disorder, um, smoking and uh, weight uh, problems, also love addictions, toxic relationship. So I'm also a family therapist. So please don't be shy, say hi in chat. If you're gonna watch this video later, uh, also let me know uh, your name. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to write them in chat section below. Okay, so... Uh, Let's talk about uh, psychological immaturity. And psychological immaturity also called as emotional immaturity. And if a person is an adult, it does not mean that he is psychologically mature. Psychologically, he might act like a child or a teenager and does not even notice it. Uh, so this person can have two kids or to be your manager at work, but it does not mean that he is psychologically mature. So do you know such people? Uh, let me know in comments, who are they? Uh, your parents, your relatives, your friends, your co-workers, or maybe your boss. And we spoke about it um, on my previous webinar. We spoke about feelings of anger and resentment, which is one of the signs of psychological, psychological immaturity on my previous webinar, which is called Anger and Resentment Towards Parents. And I recommend you watch it if you miss it. Uh, the link is in the description below this video. We discussed three psychological ages, a child, a teenager, and uh, an adult. 
and we also spoke about how psychological immaturity affects our relationship our finances and our sex life and our weight and i'm not gonna repeat myself but i will give you a few examples just to refresh your memory so a psychologically immature person is a person who gets easily upset over small things uh, another example uh, a psychologically immature person is a person who gets angry or cold walks uh, away or sit uh, staring at uh, the tv or to the wall and does not explain what happened uh, a psychologically mature person is a person who ignores your question who pretends um, that he does not hear you or he can give you a short answer like fine everything is okay nothing is wrong uh, emotionally immature person likes to create drama likes gossips and he also likes to blame other people um, this person he never admits his own mistakes uh, for example this person might <coughs> borrow money and then he has to be reminded to pay it back uh, this person needs to be reminded to keep his promises and fulfill his responsibilities uh, his promises to fulfill his responsibilities uh, for example you have to remind him to take out the garbage uh, you have to remind him to call a teacher at his son's school you have to remind him to attend the meeting even to wash his car and it's like a child who needs uh, a reminder to do his homework or to make his bed so please uh, write number five in comments right now or later if you're gonna watch it if you um, understand the difference between biological age and psychological immaturity so this is very important before we're gonna talk uh, about science i want you to understand that biological age might be any age 30 40 50 60 but psychological age is completely different so write number five if you understand this uh, concept so 10 signs 10 signs of a psychologically mature person uh, let me just read all 10 uh, signs for you and then we will discuss each point in detail so one, number one, ability to create healthy boundaries. Number two, ability to identify your emotions. We're going to talk a little bit about each point later. Three, ability to separate your feelings from your actions. Four, ability to admit that you were wrong. Five, ability to accept healthy criticism or constructive criticism. Six, ability to choose your reaction in stressful situation seven ability to communicate extremely important eight ability to make decisions on your own nine ability to accept your parents and do not try to change them ten ability to live in the present so <clears throat> let's discuss each point in detail so point number one ability to create healthy boundaries and uh, this includes ability to say no ability to walk away when people or person does something that you don't like when person uh, acts disrespectful towards you uh, this also also includes ability to speak up for yourself and to protect your interest your territory and your things ability to speak up about your desires your opinion without feeling shame or guilt this is very important uh, so the first point is ability to speak up for yourself and the second without feeling shame or guilt and i have a free webinar which is called healthy boundaries personal boundaries it's already on youtube and it's free if you have not seen it yet uh, the link is below this video make sure to watch it and healthy boundaries also include uh, an ability not to get in the middle between your friends between your spouse and your child uh, child between your boss and your co-worker or between your neighbors and here i would like to talk to you about a hero syndrome 
Uh, a hero syndrome is a desire to help people and to save people from conflicts. Usually uh, people who lived in a family with lots of conflicts have this ha hero syndrome. And this is uh, the desire to save your mother and father, uh, the desire to eliminate uh, conflicts, the desire to reconcile your mother and father. Uh, this desire came from your childhood. And as a child, a person develops uh, this hero syndrome. And when um, uh, this person sees uh, other people are fighting, and if those people are close to him, he wants to get in the middle to reconcile them. Uh, and um, this syndrome is very... Um, uh, damaging for that person itself because nine out of ten times a hero gets blamed for the consequences and people can say something like this this happened because I listened to you you said that he wanted this but when I ask him it appears that he wanted a completely different thing and um, in this case nine out of ten times you will be blamed for the failures and for the success you will not be cherished. So let people solve their own issues. Let people, you know, talk to each other without you. So do not get in the middle and do not try to be a hero, especially if people are not asking for your help. Okay, sign number two, ability to identify your emotions. And this is an understanding what you are feeling and why you are feeling it. <coughs> Ability to understand why you are angry, for example, because you are tired, because you are hungry, because you did not sleep enough last night, or because of the situation at work. Ability to understand why you want to scream um, at your dog, for example, at your wife, at your child, uh, ability on to, to understand why you are in a bad mood, what situation or uh, what um, what situation or who caused those feelings. An example, a true story: a husband went to work and uh, failed the interview for a promotion. He uh, came back home angry and blamed his wife. He said, "Because you burned my omelet this morning." I did not have a good breakfast. I was hungry. I was in a bad mood because of uh, <clears throat> the situation and I could not concentrate during the interview. So I failed it. This is your fault. And this is psychological immaturity, blaming other people for your failures. So in reality, this guy was angry at himself because he failed the interview, because he did not have enough knowledge or communicative skills, or maybe because he did not prepare for the interview, or maybe he was just not the best candidate for this job. So he was angry because he failed. He was not able to deal with his emotions and he began to blame his wife. So let's talk a little bit uh, about step number three and we will get back to the situation. So step number three is ability to separate your feelings from your actions. Ability to separate your feelings from your actions. So back to our example, the mature reaction would be like this. A husband uh, realizes that he's angry because he failed the interview. He analyzes the situation. He knows why it happened. He concluded what he could do differently next time. And he might still be angry, but he is not blaming his wife. He is admitting his own failure. He appreciates that his wife made breakfast for him, even if she burned it. <coughs> he knows that uh, she burned an omelet because uh, she was multitasking. She was doing three things at once, uh, making breakfast for him, feeding a child before school and getting herself ready at work. So this is ability to identify your feelings from your actions. 
Number four, ability to admit that you were wrong. This is very important. And uh, when you're listening to me, try to think uh, maybe about your friends, about your family, and perhaps even about yourself. Maybe something will uh, resonate with you. So number four is ability to admit that you were wrong. And here are uh, several components that I would like to discuss with you today. Number one is ability to recognize your own mistake. So yes, in this situation, I was wrong. This is my mistake. Number two, ability to actually admit your mistake to state them out loud. So the first one is to think to yourself, yes, this was my mistake, I know it. The second uh, is ability to state them out loud. And the third element, which is extremely important, is ability to apologize. So is ability to say, I'm sorry, and admit that it was your fault without explaining it away. <coughs> without looking for excuses for why this mistake happened, which would not be taking responsibility for this mistake. Um, another, another example, a person is constantly arriving late at work. An explanation can sound like this. Uh, the traffic was terrible. I have to deal with it every morning. Why can't the government find the solution for this situation? There are so many people who are suffering. This should be something that they could do about it. This extra hour that I spend in traffic, I could sleep instead and be more productive at work. And uh, this explanation sounds pretty reasonable, right? Uh, but this is the reaction from psychologically mature person because this person is constantly arriving late at work and he's blaming the traffic and the government for it. It's like a, an explanation of psychologically mature person would sound like this. Uh, I should check my route and make sure, sure that there is no traffic. Next time I should wake up earlier so I can avoid the traffic and be on time at work. <coughs> Sorry, I got this terrible cold and it's been a week already. I'm still sick, but the show must go on, right? So maybe I can talk to my boss about it and maybe I can um, talk to him about coming to work an hour earlier and finish an hour early as well. So this way I can be more productive at work. So the second person is looking for a solution. He is admitting his mistake. He knows that he was late because he did not consider the time in traffic and he's admitting it and looking for a solution. This is the reaction of psychologically mature person. Let me see your comments. Hi, I can say hi, thank you. Please let me know where you are from and if you know me or not. Write number one if this is your first webinar with me and write 10 if uh, you already seen my videos and know who I am and know about psychology of happiness. So let's continue. Step number five, ability to accept healthy criticism. And this is very, very important. There are also a few points that I would like to discuss with you. So ability to accept healthy criticism or ability to accept constructive criticism means that accept criticism without apologizing and feeling guilty without feeling shame. And uh, the second element is the ability to differentiate constructive criticism from blame. This is very important. So ability to separate, to differentiate criticism from blame and the ability to not accept other people, people's mistake, other people's responsibility. So when people criticize you, Try not to get emotional. Put your emotions aside and turn on your logic, your brain, think first. This is specifically the situation when you should uh, try to separate your mind from your heart. 
So when somebody is criticizing you, put your emotions aside. Listen first, second, make conclusions, and then choose your reaction. An emotionally immature person will stop listening at the beginning of the conversation. He will react emotionally right away, and often he won't even make any conclusions. So first, if you want to be a psychologically responsible person, if you want to be emotionally mature person, so first think, uh, then try to identify if this is constructive criticism or if the person is trying to blame you for something that you did not do. And then based on your conclusion, you can choose your reaction. Step number six, how to choose your reaction basically, right? So step number six is ability to choose your reaction in stressful situation. So if you know that this person is blaming you and it's not your fault, then how can you <clears throat> reply, right? What can you say? And <clears throat> instead of, instead of uh, reacting based on your emotions, you have to choose your reaction based on three important uh, components. A, who are you talking to? Is it a family member? Is it your boss? Is it your co-worker or your friend? Or maybe it's your neighbor. So what is your status in this specific situation? With friends, we're equal, right? With your boss, you have a lower status. Your boss is higher. With family members, it can be different. With kids, you should be responsible, um, a responsible adult. With your grandparents, you should show them your respect. And with strangers in a supermarket, you don't have to explain yourself. But you should be respectful. So, uh, number one, base your reaction on who are you talking to. Who are you talking to? Who is this person? Number two, B. What result do you want to achieve in this specific situation? Do you want to keep your job? Do you want to keep your friendship or your marriage? So what result do you want to achieve? And number three, C, A, B, C, evaluate the situation. Is it the first time that this person is being rude to you? Or has he done this many times before? Is it his regular behavior or is, his, is this a new situation for everyone? Is this person specifically offending you or is he just being emotional about the situation and his words and actions are not being addressed specifically towards you? So this is three very important uh, components to remember. So how can you choose uh, your reaction in a stressful situation. Think about three things. A, who are you talking to? B, what results do you want to achieve? And C, evaluate the situation. Is it the first time or this person has done it many times before? Okay, let's continue. Step number seven, ability to communicate. This is Ability to discuss different opinions without creating drama or conflicts. Ability to accept that uh, the other person, even uh, your best friend, your soulmate or your child, has the right to have a, an opposite opinion from yours. Ability to respect an opposite opinion of yours. Ability to listen. Ability not to interrupt trying to prove that he is wrong and you are right. So ability to communicate and discuss different opinions. So uh, please look at those seven, seven points that we have already discussed and write in chat or in comment section, if you're gonna watch it, this video later, please write uh, the corresponding number of the sign that you were able to identify in your friends, in your family members, or perhaps, perhaps even in yourself. This is a time when you can reflect on yourself and admit where you need to work on yourself and where you can grow. 
If you want to be successful in life, if you want to create love and caring and meaningful relationships in your life, then uh, try to be open-minded and um, try to see your own imperfections. So try to put your defense mechanism uh, aside and um, your emotions aside just for a minute. And look at those seven points that we have already discussed and think about them, where you can grow. So please write a number in chat. Sign a number eight of psychologically immature person is ability to make decisions on your own. And this sounds simple, but in reality it is not. So uh, ability to make decisions on your own. Number one, ability to be in charge of the consequences of your decisions, bad or good. Ability to take risks. And three, ability to accept not only your failures, but your successes as well. Uh, people often ignore or diminish their own successes. And this is very important. Uh, you have to value yourself, value decisions that you make. And if it was a bad decision, that's okay. Uh, uh, be in charge of the consequences and think how you can do it better next time. So this includes ability to make decisions on your own. This includes ability to recognize your little victories and to know your own strong qualities and your skills and your talent. So again, ability to make decisions on your own includes three things. Ability to be in charge of the consequences of negative uh, um, outcome, ability to take risk, and number three, ability to accept your own successes and recognize your own successes. Number nine, ability to accept your parents and do not try to change them. This is big. I can talk about it for another hour, but let's, um, let's discuss like the major points in this uh, step number nine. So ability to accept your parents the way they are. So stop blaming your parents uh, that they did or did not do something for you. Accept the fact that you will never fully understand your parents. You will never fully understand the decisions that they made or making right now. And that's okay. This is normal. So accept the fact that you can never change them. And you can never be in their shoes. You can never be in their generation. You can never understand why they did this specific thing. And your children will never fully understand you because this is your life and nobody knows uh, like 100% why are you making this decision or another. So do you want your children to blame you in the future for something that you do right now they don't have this right because they don't know your situation they don't know what you're going through and if we're gonna talk about your parents this is exactly the same you can never fully understand their life so watch my free webinar on youtube which is called anger and resentment towards parents the link is below this video in that webinar um we discuss the meaning of resentment, why people feel resentment, and what is hidden behind anger and resentment. We also spoke about how feelings of resentment affects our um, finances and romantic relationships and our sex life. So if you have not seen it yet, please watch it after this webinar. This is valuable knowledge that you won't find anywhere else. And this is free of charge. After this webinar, go and watch another one, resent, anger, anger and resentment towards parents. And my mission is to help people to understand their life, to change their life, to become happier, healthier, and to reach their goals in life. And let's talk about the final sign, ability to live in the present. 
Ability to live in the present, plan for the future and learn from the past. So stop blaming yourself. Stop blaming your exes. Stop blaming your parents. Stop blaming your boss. Stop criticizing yourself and other people and stop living in the past. The past will not get you anywhere. The longer you live in the past, the harder it will be to recover. And another very important point, also stop living in the future. So when I say it, I mean stop living in the illusion that one day you will be happy, that one day you will meet your soulmate who will make you happy, that one day your life will change. What you do today, right now, will affect your future. So live in the present. Your present is the past of your future. Think about it. Your present is the past of your future. What you do today, how you think today, and what decisions you make today will affect what you will have tomorrow. If you decide to break up with your boyfriend today, then tomorrow you will be, will be single. That's simple. So your present is the past of your future. So don't ignore your present. Value yourself, your life. Value people who you have in your life. And don't be afraid to work on yourself. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to change your life. The longer you wait, and the harder it will be. And I'm here to support you and offer you to be your guide, to provide you emotional support. And if you have private questions, you can always come to my private session, which I offer online and on my website, which is elenasemenek.com. Also, the link is below this video. You can sign up and we can schedule a um, private session one-on-one. -on -one. So this is the theory. And if you are ready to change your life, then I would like to invite you to my four-week uh, online workshop, which is called My Life, My Rules. And this work workshop will start in two weeks and in one week next Saturday I will have another webinar here on YouTube and it's free of charge everybody is welcome and this webinar is called a manipulator's secrets and how not to fall into them and we will discuss how can you uh, recognize when somebody is trying to manipulate you if you want to attend this webinar Please, uh, below the video, click the link, which is called sign up for free webinars. And it will take you to my uh, website where you will have to fill out four um, fields, like enter your name, your city, your country, and your email and click to sign up. Then you have to confirm it by email to make sure that you entered your email address and you did not mistype it. And then uh, a few days before the webinar, usually like one or two days, I will send you an invitation with the link where you can join the webinar. And the, I will send you even a reminder 30 minutes uh, before the webinar. So uh, the next thing that I would like to share with you is my uh, online workshop, My Life, My Rules. And this workshop will be online and we will meet once a week and do practical exercises and meditation. Then you will work on your self-esteem and your self-confidence. You will learn how to overcome your fears, how to accept your own mistakes, how to accept your own life, your own decisions, and how to achieve your goal. And then we're gonna meet next week again and you will receive a new set of exercises. And you can count on my support throughout the entire training workshop. So please visit my website and um, read about it. Let me actually show you my website. Mm -hmm. So on the YouTube, if you click, let me show you. If you click show more button here on the desktop, it's loading a little bit slow because I'm live, but when you're gonna go and click it's going to be much faster for you. So you have to click on show more and then you will see the first link, my life, my rules workshop. And the second one, sign up for free online webinars. If you're going to scroll down, then you will see 
uh, webinar that I was talking about, free of charge, go and watch them, resentment towards parents and healthy boundaries in relationship. So when uh, you go to my website, on the home page you will find the short form. You have to enter your email, name, city, country and click sign up. If you click on the banner on the right side, one little decision changed my life forever. Or if you put your mouse over workshops and the first one, my life, my rules uh, workshop, if you click on it, you will see the workshop. You will see dates of this workshop. And very important, if you cannot join me online, you can watch a recorded version later. All participants will receive a recorded version. Here you can also find an early bird specials and you can read about who should attend this workshop and what can you expect from this workshop. And you also can read a little bit about exercises that we will do. And if you scroll down, you will find three packages how you can participate in this workshop. So I encourage you to check this uh, link, to check my website and to read about this workshop. And I really hope to see you on my next free webinar, A Manipulator's Secrets and How Not to Fall into Them. And of course, on my online workshop, My Life Morals. And please, if you find this video helpful, please, please, please click like, subscribe and share. Share this video with your friends. It means a lot to me. I would really appreciate if you can share it on your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. When I see your likes, uh, it motivates me and I would like to do more free webinars for you. So thank you very much for spending these 40 minutes with me. I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to reading your questions, your comments below the video. And once again, my name is Elena Semenek, and this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm sick and I was trying to, I was trying not, I did not want to uh, reschedule the webinar. So hope you like it. Click like, subscribe and share. Bye bye.